Welcome to another episode of The Rachel Cruz Show at home. All right, when are you gonna come out of financial quarantine? That's the question we're gonna talk about right now. Some of you might physically still be in quarantine, I guess, depending on your states, what is happening, we don't know. But there is like the physical quarantine and then there's the financial quarantine. So my advice for this whole pandemic has been if you are going to lose your job, if you have lost your job, if you've been furloughed, to pause everything, stay current if you can with your debts, but focusing on your four walls, food, shelter, utilities, transportation, and then stockpiling cash. That's what I really recommend you do. Uh, and that is still the case if that's you out there. But for some of you, you're like, okay, I've been doing that for 60 days, but now life seems to go back a little bit normal for me. Um, when do I start going back to normal with my money? When do I come out of financial quarantine? Well, the first thing that you have to do is to make sure that your income and your job are stable, okay? That you have replaced your income and you know that you're probably not gonna lose your job. When that is steady and you're like, okay, yes, this is good. I feel confident about this then you know we can start moving out of financial quarantine. Number two is that you are focusing on not being fearful. It's gonna be really hard to move forward financially if you're still paralyzed by fear. So the key here is focus on facts, focus on the facts of what's going on and about your life. So if you're freaked about the health stuff, look at the facts, look at some stats, really dig in. I've learned critical thought is very important during this time. Don't just take what someone is telling you. Really dig into the information yourself because when you figure out the facts, it does give you more peace. But when it comes to your money, do the same. Say, okay, you know what? I'm gonna focus on the facts. What's the fact? The fact is maybe you're not in an industry that is that you're gonna lose your job. Maybe you're not one of the 34 million that had to file for unemployment. Maybe you're fine, but you're still just freaked out. So the key here, is to lower that fear and facts help you do that. When you focus on what is true, not what is just spun up in your head, it really is gonna help you create a plan and be diligent, which is number three, create that plan. This can be everything from the budget. We talk about this a lot, but if you've not done a budget yet, make sure you do that where you're really intentional with where every single dollar is going. Your, your financial plan for the month, it's your budget and you're being purposeful and it's amazing when you get in control of your income, what's coming in, even if it's unemployment, even if it's from part-time jobs, maybe your normal job, but when that income has a plan and you know exactly where it's going, that is going to give you so much peace and help you get out of financial quarantine. But then also look at your overall plan. Look at your plan for paying off debt. Look at your plan for building an emergency fund. Look at your plan for retirement. And when I say that, I always love timelines. So for your for getting out of debt, we talk about the debt snowball but list out those debts and say, okay, this is how much we can pay down per month on this debt right here. We're going to focus on that. And you can kind of timeline out and say, okay, I think we can be out of debt in nine months in 18 months, whatever it is for you, but have that time frame. Same with the emergency fund. Once you're out of debt completely, maybe by that time, even your income's gone up a little bit. We'll pray for that. Right. And you can say, okay, I can actually have a fully funded emergency fund in five months, six months, seven months, a year, whatever it is, Wow, this is this is getting, you know, you can really gain that progress. And then even with retirement, look and say, okay, this is what we want to have at retirement. Again, it's all about the facts we talked about earlier, but having that plan. You're just being purposeful. You're not floating through life being like, I hope everything's gonna be okay with my money. I hope it's I hope I'm gonna turn out okay. No, you have controlled what you can control and you have a plan in place. So that plan is really, really important no matter where you are financially. And number four, when you come out of financial quarantine, start catching up on all of your bills. For some of you, maybe you you took the forbearance for your mortgage, maybe it's deferment on your student loans or credit cards, maybe even your utilities, depending on where you are and the bills that have stacked up, go ahead and start paying on those. Make sure you get as current as possible so that you're not in debt for longer and that you say, okay, I really am going to attack this, get caught up on all of my bills. And that's gonna help lower that fear and give you peace as you come out of financial quarantine. So whether you're in financial quarantine or maybe you're out of it, no matter where you are, being focused on your money and your budget is still gonna be very important. So you can check out my 14 day money finder and on average people are finding around $2,000 a year. So make sure to check that out to help jumpstart you into taking control of your money.